One of the stoves that we sell quite a bit of in Iowa especially is, is a biomass stove. Biomass stoves by definition are a stove that's designed to burn a renewable uh, energy source, whether that be something like corn uh, in Iowa or probably more popular across the country is some type of wood pellet, whether it's a soft wood pellet or a hard wood pellet. Um, again, they look kind of like rabbit food basically. But the stove basically is, is burning that product. And the reason biomass stoves are nice is because they're a little bit like gas stoves, except you don't have to worry about running a gas line or if you don't have gas hooked to your house, you don't have to worry about trying to get gas hooked up to your house. You set the stove in place. The venting that a biomass stove uses is smaller and it's more adaptable that you can run it out the side of the house. If you need to go out through the roof, you can run it out the roof. So you have a lot more options in venting than you do on a wood fire or a wood stove, which is why you can put them in more rooms. Be, because of that, you can also use a biomass stove like this to lower your, your utility bills. And what I mean is if you're burning LP or you're out in the country and you have only electricity, by buying a bag of pellets for you know maybe four or five dollars, or if let's say you're a farmer and you have corn right there um, on the farm, you can grab uh, a bushel of corn and throw it in the top. You can cut down on how much gas you're using from the utility companies. The one thing that's a little bit different with a, a uh, pellet stove like this versus a wood stove, if you're used to that, or even a gas stove, is that you have to have power for the stove to work. You have the auger that's dropping the pellets down inside. You have the fans that are blowing the heat out. So you do have to have power for them. Now, there are some biomass stoves out there that do come with a battery backup. Basically, what that means is you have, have an old car battery or you have a, a boat battery that you can set next to the stove hook the uh, stove up to that battery and it will run for you know 12 hours or so on a battery. So that's a nice option if you do get a power outage where you can run the stove and get a good amount of heat into the house from there. The other thing that's different on a biomass stove is the amount of maintenance it requires. Gas stoves and wood stoves are going to have some maintenance but a biomass stove is going to have a lot more maintenance. It's kind of tough to see but inside of the fire pot you're going to have ash that you're going to need to going to clean out you know at least once a week. The fire pot itself, you're going to have to clean the ash drawer out a couple times a week. You're also going to have to vacuum the inside behind the baffles and things inside. But So there's a little bit more maintenance to be aware of on that. The reason I mention that is, is for the stove to continue to work well, you want to make sure you properly maintain the stove. The last thing that's nice about the biomass stove is, again, whether you're wanting to burn sunflower seeds or wheat or corn or anything else like that, is it's a green product. So you're actually using something that's a renewable energy source instead of using a fossil fuel or something like that to get your heat.